All right, give me one minute, everybody. Let me let me get out of this winter jacket. And of course, the most important thing of this video. Woo. My Dr. Pepper Slurpee. The cherry was out of order, so I couldn't make it a cherry Dr. Pepper. And my spicy Cheez-Its. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna butcher this, but here we go. Daisya hao, everyone. Nope, that is everyone. Daisya hao. Hey da zeni here. Hyo da zeni here. And today we are looking at the one and only Shoha Hatsune Miku from Myethos or Mythos or Myethos or. By the end of the video, we'll get it right. I hope I didn't mess that up. I'm not going back and fixing it. <sighs> well, it's that time of the year where the hours are getting shorter and it gets dark out very fast. By the time I got everything set up and I ate, it was pitch black outside. So I decided to go out, get myself a Slurpee. It's been snowing all day. And when I went out, it's still snowing. The roads are icy and slippery. I kind of like it when it's like that peaceful snowing out at night. It's a very calm feeling. So of course that means the last of the figure pre-orders for this year are starting to come to a close. With all the figures being pushed back, I believe I only have two that should be coming to me before the end of the year. I literally just got an email like a couple hours ago saying that she is here and she is ready to be shipped. And the second one should be coming by the end of December, which I'm hoping I can combine my order and get them shipped together and get them both at the same time. They are both super cute. I am super excited for both of them, especially this bottom one. <laughs> Anyways, let's start breaking this bad boy open. A little skeptical. It's actually smaller than I expected. We'll see what anime NPC sent me. Hopefully it's the Miku that I ordered. Hopefully it's not damaged. When this one was first announced, I believe in the Discord we were taking uh, bets, guessing how much <laughs> she was gonna cost and I believe I was actually pretty close I think I was guessing 210 I don't know if anyone priced is right me I think the even funnier thing is and almost a life lesson for figure collecting is when the, the pictures of her more pictures of her were coming out I was saying no I don't want this one this is I don't it's dumb I don't like it it doesn't go with my collecting I don't need another Miku I already have one. Oh yeah here's the scroll then I was really shocked by the price of her how I actually for what you get and how beautiful this looks is great. The price, I think, is really fair. A lot of my ethos stuff. Uh, Jesus, okay, they definitely got it wrapped up pretty good. Snug as a bug in a rug. Here we go, finally. Feels like I was unraveling this thing for an hour. Is any customary? Ah, get out of here. Hopefully she's facing forward. Is this... Which way's forward? No, oh, it's coming on backwards. <laughs> so much for the unveil. Oh, she is here. It's Hatsune Miku, as the president of the Japanese branch of Domino's Pizza would say. Have you heard of Hatsune Miku? Cute little box. Yes, this is a pretty thin box. Instructions. Another car card that has a QR thing on it. Go ahead and scan it if you want. Oh, it just takes you to the website and shows you how to set it up. Are we going to figure that out? Are we going to do that right now? We're going to do it. Open Miethos. Mietos, mitos. Oh yeah, it's all in Chinese. And what the? What is this? He's got to sign up. I ain't signing up to this. It just takes him to the home website. And get my cheese it fingers all over her. Got here. What do we got? Where's the tape at? Is there no tape around this edge? Oh wow! I usually have to cut a bunch of tape off these things. Boop. Okay, that's pretty simple. So wow, it looks like she just comes all in one nice twin tail protector comes in one whole piece right out of the box and this is also my first purchase from mythos oh still got some foam on the back of her head <laughs> oh wow that's ducked in there pretty good let's pop open the scroll my first scroll you can't call yourself an otaku if you don't have a scroll it's, <laughs> it's nice i can't have <laughs> can't even hold it out right there we go it's her good art design though can't complain, that is really cute. I've been scrolled. Keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And what? Keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Here you go. Anybody want to scroll? <laughs> Give it to some somebody that couldn't get the figure. Give these spicy boys a try. They're they're hot, but they're not too hot. So it looks like my boys in Hong Kong anime NPC came through. I bypassed the proxies, I went straight to the source, since Anime NPC is a Chinese-based figure dealer. We are a little sketchy from some reviews, but hey, I can't wait to go over the details with you guys. Be sure, of course, to let me know what you think of her at the end of the video. Let's get into it. OK, 
Okay, let's get this out of the way first. Sean Toodle. Wait, what? Well, that helped. All right, let's get YouTube's consensus. Well, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Mythos, me, mythos, myethos, mythos, 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 myethos, mythos. I don't know. What do you say, myethos? Myethos, I think. Myethos, mythos, or mythos, however you want to pronounce it. Myethos, mythos. It's by my us mythos, my mythos, 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 or mythos, however you feel like pronouncing that. Myethos, myethos. Push, my ethos. My ethos. My ethos. My ethos. Uh, mythos, mythos, how we pronounce that? Mythos. Mythos, glaube ich, oder mythos. My ethos. Mythos. Mythos. My ethos, or mythos, 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 you gotta pronounce it like Greek or something. Meow boss. Meow 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 mix. Anyways, ordering this lady was kind of a mess for everyone. I'm talking like peanut butter baby kind of mess. Upon ordering from a Chinese proxy, depending on where and what, you can get an acrylic display case, a real fan, the scroll, that's the original artist's artwork. Check out Ask's stuff. Or a display screen. I think this display box is just something you can buy separately if you want. And I'm not gonna lie, I did one of these father, son, holy spirit and prayed anime NPC wasn't gonna run off with my deposit. I didn't care what she was coming with as long as she showed up in one piece. Here she is. It's hard to believe that this is really our beloved 3D idol. It looks like she can just start singing and at any second birds would perch on her shoulders and all the other forest critters would pop on and join her in harmony. Bang coons on the backup! Anyways, it's impossible not to notice those big bright porcelain doll eyes peeking from over her formal silk fan, which depicts what looks like a plum blossom tree beginning to bloom with sparrows stretching their wings nearby. Her bracelet almost looks like it has little flowers crafted on it. Hey, green nails. Which, gee, I don't know, is painted to match her hair. Which, of course, is the elephant in the room. <laughs> I wrote down giant in the room first? That's definitely not right. Those luscious locks are a beautiful, luminous mint green, with very subtle hints of blue hues walloping around the long strands. First of all, how'd she end up in this position in the first place? Got her hair all tangled up everywhere. It's completely wrapped around the flower vase, pulled all the way over the ledge and tucked behind that pot. Girl, what are we gonna do with you? But it must have been a major pain wrapping her hair up in that bow. Kimono Obi Belt vibes though. It's time for Zandy to guess his flora. Oh boy. I'm guessing they are all some sort of traditional Chinese flowers. We got some red chrysanthemums chilling with the plum blossoms. Camellias. Good thing I looked that one up. Chinese roses and camellias almost giving off fall colors. Don't forget those little buddies chilling down there. Mandarin limes. Wow, that's a deep cut. And ugh, here we go. Sweet osmanthus. I think I could get that right. I like how that one's gone rogue and is trying to escape from the vase. I guess since I'm in the process of googling foreign things that I'm absolutely clueless on, her dress! Say no to the China dress. I'm still in the stop calling them China dresses club. Come on, people. It's a cheap howl. Duh. And boy, does that slit keep going. And going. And going. And going. I'm pretty sure they normally don't do that. But for fan service's sake, you bet your ass they do. Its glossy silk finish shines up our otherwise pretty flat and toned display. If you look closely and maybe squint a little bit, if you have bad eyes like me, you can see the fabric has faint motifs running up and down it. Bonus points for noticing the same patterns on her dress stocking. Oh, one of my favorite color combinations is that dark, deep, velvety green and gold. Those kicks of hers are looking pretty slick. No, really, it's gotta be that clean, glossy, airbrushed finish. Of course, the dark green and gold theme can be seen elsewhere on her, like that nifty little bow and ribbon, and the ties on her dress along with its trim. Ah, damn, I almost missed the hibiscus tucked back behind her ear. But speaking of things hiding, let's slip on her empty hand so we can see that sweet smile Miku's shyly giving off, with hints of pink blush on her cheeks and around her eyes. Can we even call this a base? No way, it's much more than a boring old base. It's a pillar of this figure. The main support beam, it's a, it's a, it's an Ikea shelf. It's just a fancy shelf. Wait, Niku, get off there. That's not a bench. An aged tree trunk grows up from the ground, twisting and splitting at points. It may be past its prime, but with a little creativity, the, 
<laughs> I, did, I didn't even notice this pun when I was writing the script. Um, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say this was once a Hongshan pine tree, which are known for their twistiness and unique shapes. The pine was repurposed into a modern oriental shelf, with this big crescent as its centerpiece. Perfect! That covers everything! I usually like to goof around at this part and make fun of the character I'm reviewing, but this version of Miku is too like enchanting and innocent to riff on. Come on, she's like a Disney princess. So instead, you know who's not enchanting or innocent? Miku Deo! That's right, I told you I was gonna buy her. Whew. That's better. Likes and dislikes time. Miku's Toyota Corolla bacon wrapped hot dog arc was a wild one, man. Even more so than the Domino's Pizza arc, which was pretty insane on its own, too. Have some fun with Miku! Off to my likes first. Essentially, her base. Mainly the part that swoops over her. It's almost like a reticle scoping in on her. Essentially, it's a very simple base. Couple flowers, bench, and girl in middle. But the way everything is neatly and tightly packed together in a subtle manner helps everything stand out on its own, all while highlighting Miku in the center. Did that make any sense? It is basically Miku T-posing to show dominance. But what really ties everything together is all her hair draped over each side of the shelves. She remains the focal point, but the follicles kind of expand upon Miku's presence. It's a great and simple design idea. Miku pretty much squishes herself on the base, but with our iconic green hair spread all over, it's hard to miss this diva. While we're on the subject of hair, I love the tiny metallic flakes sprinkled throughout it. The option to remove her fan, because they did such a wonderful job on her face with that very pleasant expression. It makes you feel all snuggly inside. Her makeup isn't overbearing either. The eyelashes are cute, and who doesn't like the tuck behind the ears? Out of all the China dresses there are, which is a lot, this might be my favorite one I've seen so far. Even though the slit on the side is cooking, it's more sleek than risque. Some characters I see slapped in these types of dresses look almost like they don't belong in them at all. There's like, there's just no correlation between them and the dress. They look really gaudy in a sense. I think this chief owl looks so great on Miku. It's like an actual wardrobe she picked out of her closet. Instead of, you know, going into like a gift shop and nabbing one off the wall and going, Look! I'm in a china dress! The frills on the sleeves, gold motifs, and pearly colors are my favorite parts of this dress. The kicks are cool, fuzzy balls, and the overall sleekness of the base all go up on the leaderboard for me. Okay, dislikes, here we go! Unfortunately, the shading on the hair is a bit of a disappointment for me. More so, it's the drape strands that are the problem. Without shading, extra sculpting, or like just little details in them, they look like chewed bubblegum that's been stretched out. It's the, it's the way the loose strands stick together and hang down. I think some transparent tips like on my Makise or Rock Miku would have helped. Kinda like the sun is peering through her hair. Dues are hard to get right, man. But the top of her head is a little better though. It does get a little clumpy in some spots and looks a little congested. I think some additional shading or gradienting could have helped that. I do love the bangs and the one strand tucked behind her ear. Ooh, the designs on her dress and socks seem to be more present in the early draft pictures. They seem more faint now and are a tad hard to make out. I didn't even notice them at first until I really got up close and looked. Even though it doesn't matter much, I feel like the, the bottom platform of the base could have used a little more attention. It's almost too flat. It, it's looking a little sus. Something's up. Wait, what's that? Humongous. I think it bugs me because all the wood is like the same color. I don't know, maybe some grass or foliage around her feet would have been cute and kind of complete the whole look a little better. But I gotta say, these thankfully are mostly nick pits. What did I just say? Nitpicks. So should that stop you from buying this figure? Hell no. Let's get into the ratings now, people. Friday Night Funkin' is just a Vocaloid rhythm game. Changed my mind. This is the part of the review where I get lazy and only come up with one new original category, give my musings in each said category, then pretend to calculate points to add into a totally fair and unbiased final blank out of five score. <gasps> Here we go. Quality, baby. Big bonus points for not having to set her up. That deserves one classic waddles. Nice. Besides her slightly lagging in some extra shading and details, everything looks pristine regardless. No odd molding, specks, or nicks. The paint is looking extra crispy, especially on the gold piping, tiny trinkets, and bows on her pumps. The vases look like they were made out of ceramic and glass. That one's pretty neat with its worn out paint. Even the sculpting on the plants is original and unique. Rather than just being copy-pasted, look at that long boy reaching out. 
Next up is photographability. Another fun thing is finding objects to put in her empty hand. Surprisingly, the Nendo umbrella from my Kimono Miku worked aight. I think the flower looks really nice too. Like I said earlier, she's just nice to display alone. I think she would look great just on a fancy shelf on your wall set next to some indoor plants or your light up bucket hat. Christ. Those eyes though. They really pull you into this figure. I love I love the little twinkles and reflections of light in them. She looks amazing at any angle, mainly from the way she's looking off with that tilt on her head. The last category is... Mikudeo, just uh, out there doing things and vibing and stuff. You know? I'm giving Xiaohua Miku a 4.9 out of 5. Here's my final thoughts. At first I thought she seemed pretty small, closer to like the 1 8th scale. So I put her next to a couple of my same size figs, but uh, no, I was wrong. She is closer to 1 7th. I guess it's just because she's so thin and pale. She's gotta get some meat on those bones. Like, like Mikudayo. <laughs> she can't live off leeks alone, gotta get her the... the pasta bread bowl from Domino's. <laughs> There's no doubt my ethos is absolutely killing it right now. Their lineup just keeps looking better and better as they develop more figures. Ooh, rattle me bones, my lady. Rattle me bones! I think you better invest in my ethos now before they really start blowing up and increasing their prices. Princes. I wrote down princes. And that's a zenny prediction. I don't normally drink this stuff. How it burns! It's like in my eyes too. Oh man, it feels like a weight has been lifted off my chest. Two of my biggest pre-orders and, and just my orders that I've ever placed so far, as of yet, but came in pretty close to each other, which was the previous review I just did of Megamine, and then this one from Mythos. Two of my most exciting pre-orders yet and expensive, so it's great to have these guys out of the way. I can finally breathe, and I can work on some older stuff. I keep on doing this. Bounce with me. Put away the knife. Thanks for being homies and liking all my videos, and subscribing to my channel, and commenting like I know you always do. And thanks for, of course, always stopping by my Instagram, Twitter, and Discord. Stop by and say, hey, and lastly, thanks for going down and clicking my Hobby Link Japan affiliate link and buying a figure off of their site or pre-ordering anything or hooking yourself up with a model kit and giving me some of that commission kickback. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Hey, let me know what you're uh, ordering. And I'll be sure to give you a thumbs up and a, and a heart. Much love, everyone. You're the best. I will see you later. That boy air pulled up in a machine. <laughs> <laughs>